So for today, we're going to be doing the last call for all of the vendors that are going to be switching their stuff. So we're going to be looking at Ada one and Zer for this week. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the shaders, vitrified chronology. This is the shader that is up this week. I like this shader. It's a really good purple and blue. Uh, if you do guys want to see the A to one video, I'll have it up right now. So that way you guys can see uh, we go in it a little bit more in depth than we will now. I'm just going to show you what she's selling and then we'll go to Zer. So uh, from next shader, it's going to be Mercury Prophetic. This is an OK shader. Uh, this is not the best exotic to showcase it because the blue doesn't change color, but it's just to showcase. It. It's nothing too crazy. And then Mnemonic Regalia. She has sold this three times this season. Uh, I'm not bitching. Uh, I know people still haven't gotten this, but this is uh, most likely she'll most likely sell this again in, in a later date. But we don't know if she'll have like different stuff in different seasons. So we don't know if she'll like real resell this next season or not. Hopefully they have a pretty big uh, selection for shaders because I would not like to see new Monarchy Regalia come up every other week because this is like the third time. And for the armor, it's going to be the Tangled Shore stuff, which if you guys haven't seen the Tangled Shore, it's pretty cool. I my my gripe with it is just the fact that I don't think everyone has really good like pieces as a whole. I think pieces, I think you can definitely use a lot of them, like specifically for the hunters. I think the arms are really cool, very usable. And the cloak is really cool as well. The helmet's fine, too. Definitely you could use it. But I do think the boots and the chest piece are definitely L's for the Titans. I think all of it's pretty bad. I think the helmet is really cool. I just wish it was symmetrical because the bottom fin doesn't have the uh, the extra fin. It's cu it's cut there. And then the chest piece is cool, but I would definitely not use it. Same thing for the arms and same thing for the boots and same thing for the for the mark. I just think all of the pieces are cool, but definitely cannot put them in other sets and then for the warlocks i actually think you can use them in other sets uh aside from the helmet i think the helmet's like the only piece where i would, I would actually switch out for something else but the arms definitely could be usable definitely the best piece from it just because it's so versatile same thing for the boots and i would say the the chest piece while cool is very fallen themed so unless you go for a falling theme, it's going to look out of place as well. So let me know if you guys are interested in that one for Zer, This is where it's going to be pretty annoying. He is selling the simulator stuff, which is unfortunate because he always sells this. And it is also unfortunate because Ada also sells it as well. So most of the time it's going to be double dipping. It's very annoying because I kind of wish we just got more armor instead of the simulator stuff. Cause again, we, we always get this set. Um, but We'll look at the armor first and then we'll look at what else what else Zer is selling for all of the sets. If you have seen the Nessus armor, it's it's basically just the Nessus armor with just the future war cult symbol in there. So really unfortunate. I'm not going to talk about too, this too much just because this armor comes because it comes by so many times that I'm sick and tired of seeing it. But needless to say, I think uh, tight hunters specifically the helmet is really cool. The chest can be usable if you work around the wiring because the wiring doesn't change color. Uh, the boots are cool if you want to go for like a like a chill hunter look. And the cloak is pretty terrible and the arm is fine for the Titan. I'm going to be real with you. The chest piece I really like a lot. The boots are really cool if you want to go for a like not a night look because it, it's it has the same design as the crucible armor from year one and the um i forget the devastation protocol armor set as well so kind of has the same thing but just the difference is it doesn't have a pointy boot uh the arms are okay and then the helmet is actually really cool i definitely would recommend the helmet probably the nessus version just because i like that one a little more but that one's really cool if you want to go for like a tactical look and then the mark is fine for the warlocks i am going to be real through a lot of it i'm not a really big fan of specifically just the future or cult stuff so let me know if you guys are going to be picking some of that stuff up for the other stuff. It's going to be the Quinn Breaker for the exotic, which is OK. We have Ophidia Spathe, which I hate this exotic. We have Eternal Warrior, which I also hate this exotic and Phoenix Protocol, which is actually a really good exotic. I would def definitely tell you guys to pick this up if you guys don't have it already, because it's really good. Yeah, definitely pick this one up. I would tell you just pick all the exotics up just in case like 
some change makes it really meta like eternal warrior is getting changed and i don't know if it's going to be good enough but i'm hopeful that it'll be pretty good and then ophidia just gives you an extra blade which whatever to be quite honest if it was like an extra melee then i would be like yo this is pretty cool because then an extra melee is much more versatile than just an extra blade because that's only gonna work on what solar which is unfortunate for the weapons it's gonna be chroma rush with heating up and rampage which is interesting i would probably tell you to pick this up because heating up will proc with rampage both of these proc when you get a kill not on reload so that's really cool um, I think this is the one I actually have for mine and then reload, uh, unfortunate, unfortunately that it has reload, but I mean, at that point, what else would you want aside from controller? You probably would want stability. Um, oof. So yeah, you could probably put steady rounds for 71 and I think that's it. I would, I would probably stick with arrowhead break. We have Seventh Seraph with Threat Detect and Osmosis. I'm not even going to look at that. Enigma's Draw. I'm not even going to look at that. Deafening Whisper with Surplus and Auto Loading, which is pretty cool. I would probably pick this up for sure. Like, actually, uh, because Surplus is fine, but specifically the Auto Loading is going to be a lot of fun. And it is a waveframe, so that's going to be really unique. Ikelos with Perpetual and High Impact Reserves. If this had like triple tap or fourth time to charm. I forget which one is the one that I close has. Then this would actually be pretty cracked, um, but it does not have that. So that's unfortunate. Uh, we have planks, uh, stride, slick draw harmony. I'm going to ignore that quick fang with a relentless strike and assassin's blade, which is okay. Um, you can get this in this season. So, um, them selling quick fangs, just kind of like, eh, whatever. And then for the other stuff, we have Hawkmoon with hip fire grip. Um, pff, <laughs> and get that amount of style with Killing Wind. Oh, yeah, fine. Let's see what I actually get. Um, I'm probably going to get Trash, most likely. Man, I fucking called it. Hold on. That's the second time that happens, too, dog. I, like, I still have the one from last time. Oh, uh, this one has... Uh, I don't know. Mobility at 8, Resilience at 16, Recovery at 9... Actually, I can just show you real quick. It's right here. This is what I just got. This is from last week, unfortunately. But this is what I have right now. Uh, I'm be real. I kind of, I'm probably going to erase it just because I don't really care about a lot of these. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of hard because like 16 re resilience is going to be nice. Nine recovery would be nice. My, my only problem with uh, Celestial, and this also really does apply to, uh, eternal warrior as well it's just the fact that these are not exotics that i'm going to put on forever these are just going to be like i'm going to swap to these when i have my super and i'm about to use them type exotics so i don't know let me know what you guys think uh let me know what you guys are going to be picking up i i'm going to be real with you i have a lot of the stuff that I, we that they showcased already so i'm not going to be picking much up but let me know what you guys are going to be picking up i have a lot of videos to work on i'm working on some fashion videos i'm working on some weapon videos as well and thankfully the new season is probably what is it the the, the end of this month we're going to get the new season so uh, that's really good because this season's kind of winding down for me to the point where i've actually been playing a lot more warframe than destiny 2 just because uh, i want to feel something and destiny 2 is just not giving me that so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point be safe and i'll see you guys later